What would you do if you were laid off right now or even furloughed by the government like millions of the people last year? Well, today I'm gonna to be reacting to a video called Three Sisters That Launched a Cheesecake Business After the Government Shut Them Down, how they overcame their adversity and my reaction to see whether they're the real deal or not. So make sure you guys keep watching. Hey guys, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a small business and a thriving food business. Today we're gonna to be doing a reaction video. Jason just showed me this and he's like, you know what, Wilson, watch this, react to this. So if this is the type of content that you enjoy, if you enjoy analysis, if you enjoy my reaction to these videos, make sure you guys smash the like button so then that way it helps the YouTube algorithm to show it to more people. Now, let's dive right in. All right, let's get started. Side hustle selling cheesecakes. I feel it from the government job. When you see that your livelihood is controlled by others, it's a wake up call. And I pray that people will see it as such. We use the slogan, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. We were given this furlough, we didn't ask for it, but we're making cheesecake. cheesecake. You know, something that's really interesting about this is that the mindset is so good when people don't give up. And it's something I really appreciate because there are friends that I have that when adversity hits, they, they kind of re go back into the little shell and then they, they, they kind of give up, they throw in those house. And something that I appreciate about them, and I think that's what sets people apart, is how they view adversity and how they view things. And this is exactly how I started my businesses. So when I was given adversity, I think like we have a choice um, to either take it as is in a very negative note, which is what 99% of the people do, or we can like be like the 1% the really seeing it for the positivity, seeing it from a different perspective. And I think that's what they're doing. And it's like something that is very, very important for us to, to realize. We were a week into the furlough and already feeling the pain in anticipating not having a paycheck. When the business was first, it was almost by accident. It was divine design. It was sure. totally accidental. Mm -hmm. I was just eating the cheesecake that she made for our family church's New Year's Eve service. And I said, whose is this? To my sister, and she said, me. My mom, who is here, said, girl, it's so good. You can sell these. Then I just kind of sat up in my chair, and it was like, ding, ding, ding. We can sell these. Uh huh. Now this is an area that is super common because when you are the baker, when you're the creator, oftentimes you don't see it as a business. Oftentimes you don't see it as something you can sell. It is until other people tell you that, wow, this stuff is really good. That's when you see an opportunity that you should definitely jump on because these are your clientele. These are the people that would be actually paying you money and they're telling you that this is something that is good and that's the reason why you should definitely take advantage of it when other people are telling you how great your food is. They launched their website and immediately began taking orders. What an action taker, what a boss, right? Like, you know what? Thinking, overthinking is the first thing that kills everyone's dreams. There are so many of my students, they've been thinking about their ideas for years. We're talking about a year, two years, three years, even 10 years, and still not taking the action. Having this analysis by paralysis um, symptom, which is the number one killer of all dreams, and that's the reason why they're being successful is because you just need to take the shots. You just need to be able to actually go out, reach, and take action like these girls did. So we're making sure that we're doing it the proper way. People are sending us advice. People are, are just pouring into us, which is so wonderful. And donations, like some people <laughs> don't even want the cheesecake, but they want to donate. They want to donate the cheesecake to a shelter, um, to other home uh, federal work. You know, something that's really cool is because the only reason why they're so successful, the, the reason why people are donating, it's a really big distinguisher. It is because of their branding, because their story, because they have a story to tell. 
And it's very important for you to, when you're creating a brand, it stems from somewhere. And everyone has a story to, to tell, believe it or not, it's actually very difficult for you. You'd be like, well, you know what? I just want to sell cheesecake. I don't have a story behind that. It is okay. You just need to dig deeper. You just need to have that clarity on why you're starting the business. And oftentimes, when you actually spend the time and ask yourself the right question, then you would have a very, very strong reason of why you're doing something, and the right people will come and support you along the way, just like how these sisters started their cheesecake brand. And that's what we're gonna be able to do. That's so awesome. They're volunteering their time to help yeah. us. And then we'll be able to bless them in the end. Wow. So Don't good. wait for somebody to dictate your future. Look inside yourself and see, what is it that I've complained that if I had time, I would do it. Now you have the time to do it. Oh my God, this is pissing me off. Yeah, it is so inspiring. It is pissing me off because I hear this so often. People that are saying that, you know what? I don't have the time. I don't have the resource. I don't have the know-how. But the fact that you're watching this video proves the fact that you have the know-how because we have hundreds of videos teaching you how to create a food business online. Why are you not doing it? Why are there 10 other people that are not doing it? All you have to do is to believe in yourself to actually go and do it. Don't let other things be an excuse because if you're letting these random things be an excuse, you will always find an excuse not to chase after your dreams. Just like how you will always find an excuse of not smashing the like button. Oh, you know what? Let me watch a video a little bit more first. You know what? It's lame. It is not lame. Smash the like button helps the YouTube algorithm so then that way this video can be shown to more people. So then that way I can create more good content for you. So make sure you guys smash the like button, take action right now. And at the same time, they're super inspiring because they are taking action and they're not being afraid going back into that shell. Super excited for these girls. Fear paralyzes you to the point where you're depressed and you're just sitting there and you're not able to move because you can't get past someone else's inability to make a decision mm -hmm. that is affecting real lives, real, lives. real people. And, that's the and this is something that I always, always share with my students is that do not ever let your external circumstances define who you are. At the end of the day, you cannot control the external stuff. You can always, always control what's happening inside. Equip yourself with, with the knowledge and equip yourself with what it takes to go and actually go out there and do it. There are so many things that you can do. Don't try to control what other people do, are doing. Don't judge what other people are doing because it doesn't matter. You're not perfect. Until you're perfect, then you can complain. Otherwise, take control of your own destiny. Super, super proud people. of these girls. We are, we are people. Uh -huh. And they're innocent people. They can't control it. They can't control it. However, you can control what you decide to do about it, do with your time. Spot we on. We pray that we can give others the courage to take a leap of faith. That's right. That was really good. That was very inspiring. I love how they are actually turning something that is the external circumstances that are always, there's always going to be external circumstances that are bad in your life. Whether it is you having a child, no, that is not bad, but you get my point. You have other stuff in your life that takes control of your own timeline, of your own schedule, of your own obligations, but never, never, ever let those external circumstances control what you can do because there's a lot that you can do. And that's the reason why I really enjoyed this video. So yeah. So there you go, friends. The first reaction video that I made. I don't know how well I did, what improvements and what things you would like to see a little bit more of. Let me know in the comment section below of how you want this to be better. Is it, am, I, am I giving you guys enough value? Am I giving you, you guys enough of my analysis? Do you guys want more of my personal stories? Do you guys want to watch more of this type of video? Let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. Smash the like button. That helps me out in order for me to help you out even more. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.